that spin around at the same time using a bicycle chain and gears on top of the units so that they all turn at the same time. We'll use another one as an example since this one actually worked better going in the other direction. Um, we built two of these units. This was the first one which was kind of an experiment and it did wind up working but it took a lot more time to do because certain things were not exactly correct. The second one we did, however, turned out a little bit better because we changed the distance between the periactoid to give them more clearance, and hence it worked better. But overall, it was a nice effect. We'll take a look at what it actually looks like on top so that we can build this again another time. Hello again. Um, here on top, you'll see the gearing setup. Each periactoid has a large six inch tooth gear on top of it and they're all connected by a single chain which um, in hindsight might have been better to do um, <clears throat> one chain from left to center and then another chain from right to center. This um, setup was a little bit difficult because we had to put a pulley on the inside here on the center gear to keep the chain from slipping off whereas the two end ones had enough chain wrapping around so that they didn't slip at all. It also needed two supports between each of the periactoid to keep the chain raised at the same level as the gearing and to help constrict the chain and keep tension on it. Um, this proved to work out pretty well after the fact. We hadn't done this initially. We had only had the chain around and there was just too much torque between the two end units and the middle unit actually had a lot of slippage in it. You can still see there's a little bit of give in the chain, but that's inherent in the project itself. Um, otherwise, this worked out pretty well. This one did work better because we gave a little bit more room in between the periactoid and we didn't have to do anything else after this one was done which was nice. Um, the chain worked out to the exact link practically. Um, I think next time perhaps we will put the gears on top of the plate that actually centers each unit and also puts them exact distance away from the front of the unit because that will give us easier access to the chain. We just kind of like went with this idea because that was what we originally thought of and we knew it was going to work. So I think next time we'll try something else but overall it was successful and we can do it again. That's uh, about it for this wonderful project.